Hey guys, this is simply the best way to edit your raw file in Photoshop. Come down here to the browse profiles, change the color profile to the camera raw standard because this is a studio portrait. Now to boost the blue, you come down here, come down here to the calibration section and now we are going to tune the blue. So you move it like this to the left to minus 50. And now you boost the saturation like this. Now let's take a look at the before and the after. Here was the before and here is the after. I'm going to open your file in Photoshop right now. Right here in Photoshop, you are going to fix the skin tone. Before you fix the skin tone, take your spore healing brush. If there's any smile line on the face, you remove it with the spore healing brush. If your subject is not smiling and the smile line is showing, you remove it. You only leave the smile line when the subject is smiling. Use this spot healing brush to remove any pimples, any freckle, any spot, and any acne on the face as easy as this. The next thing we are going to do before we fix the skin tone, we are going to quickly use the auto fix FS action to smooth the skin. So if you just click on the auto fix FS action, it's going to automatically retouch your skin like this. You see here was the before and here is the after. It's super easy. Take a look at the before and see the after with just one click. The auto fix FX action will touch your skin while retaining the skin texture. To get the auto fix FX action, check the link in the description. You can see the before and the after. Yes, our skin tone is looking a little bit too reddish. We can easily fix that with the hue saturation adjustment. So create a hue saturation adjustment. Take the hand picker tool and select the skin tone. Now. We are going to boost the skin tone by increasing the saturation and now the hue of the skin tone we are going to move it to the right like this until it's now looking more orange than too much red so we are going to reduce the saturation right now since we have gotten the correct skin tone make sure you adjust the sliders until you see that the skin tone is now looking better than the previous see the before and see the after we are now going to create a selective color adjustment. We are now going to come to the yellows. The yellow, we are going to reduce the magenta and we are going to reduce the yellows in the yellow. So just like that, you can see how we've toned our skin tone and make it look more beautiful. Yes, this is amazing. And this method is going to work for all skin type, for all portrait images. So here was the before and here is the after. Finally, to boost the overall image, Control Shift Alternate E, press Control Shift Alternate E on your PC or Command Shift Option E on your Mac to create a stand visible layer. I'm going to go back into Camera Row to finalize the whole thing. Right here in Camera Row, we are going to boost the contrast and now we are going to increase the blacks. We are going to reduce the temperature and also a little bit of the tint. We are going to move it. To the left minus two to reduce the magenta in the skin now we are going to come to the color mixer and we are going to target the blue in the blue we are going to push the blue again just to make this image look more smart make the color look more rich so you can see the before and the after this is just some little changes we've made here we are going to come back into photoshop just like this our image is now looking superb let's take a look at the before and the after here was the before and here is the after don't forget how we got this smooth skin we use the one click auto fix fx action the link to get the auto fix fx action is in the description so check the description to get the auto fix fx action it's going to be super handy for you i promise you can see exactly how it works here